That's not something that web should look like today, right? We will see why. And I will focus a lot in this talk about user experience and I want you to think about that. Like I think that's the most important thing even for us as developers, especially for our customers, we need to make, make their life much easier. Who am I? I'm basically the engineer, so I'm fixing problems, as you can see. <laughs> so I have problem transporting my bag from one part of Mauritius to another. So this happened yesterday, and I fixed that today. So my name is Antonio Peric Baja. I'm from Croatia. It's very nice to be here. Uh, the country is awesome. It's very green and awesome. And uh, I'm the CEO of Locastic. I will tell you a few words about Locastic a little later. This is my contact information. So if you have any question, if you want to grab a coffee, treat me, DM me, send me email, do whatever you want. I also co-founded Blockada. Blockada is an NGO from Croatia also. We are organizing conferences, mostly about blockchain. We are doing two, that's like my hobby, from researching about blockchain, learning about that. And we are doing two annual events in Croatia, one, in, one will be in a month. About Locastic, we are in market since 2011. We are focusing mostly on custom web and mobile development. We actually created user experience for my mobile app that should be a client in Mauritius. The client is from the United States, but they want to run a project here. We also do some training and consulting, and we are running a monthly event in our office, which is free of charge and we are bringing a lot of foreign speakers to our office every month, different, different people speaking about different topics. One fun fact about us is that, that, we, that we actually own the esports team. So there, these guys are playing uh, Counter-Strike under our... <laughs> okay, uh, first what I want to focus on is uh, users. Users are actually our customers. So basically, they are the most important part of our life. They are paying money for our salaries, for our equipment, for our companies, whatever. But what we, what we are noticing often is that developers don't care about it. Like, we are only care about our development experience and things like that. And especially when we are talking about users, we need to think about mobile user experience, especially on web. So basically, a few of us probably are doing some things on mobile. Like, it's okay, it's perfectly okay. But what I want to say is that the mobiles are part of our everyday. We are using mobile average like four hours per day. We, are, we, we will take and open our mobile phone for 85 to 90 times per day. That's a huge amount of our time that we are spending on a mobile. So basically for our users, the two most important things are mobile and user experience. And we need to connect that to same thing, like mobile only user experience. And you will see why we have broken mobile user experience at the moment at the web. Mobile applications are okay, but web and mobile are not working good. And progressive web apps are something that should change that. That's the reason why I don't love progressive web application and some fancy marketing word. I love it as, as web as it should be today in 21st century. Let's see some stats. If we see some very disappointing, humiliating facts for us as hum humankind, we will see that more people has mobile phones than electricity. And that's something very, very bad. And more, less people has running water than mobile phones. So basically, you have people who have like two or three mobile phones, connection to the internet, and they don't have running water or ele electricity, something like that. In 2017, actually in 2016, we already started to search more from our mobile phones than from desktop applications. And now it's going up and up. This is 2018, so probably 2019 will be up. Also, we serve more data to mobile phones in 2018 and 2017 than on desktop applications. Regarding the time, uh, mobile apps dominates the time spent using them slightly higher we are using more smartphones than tablets but the fact is that we are mostly using mobile apps on our application and the reason reason for that is we have a very very bad user experience on mobile websites let's focus a little bit on what is actually user experience i love this picture maybe if you are reading code horror blog you probably saw this picture what is said it said that 
if you have, this is electricity grid, and this is cheese, and this is some hungry mouse. And uh, he'll go to that, if, if your piece of cheese is big, as you can see on this graph here, he will accept bigger shock to get it. But usually you don't have that such large piece of the cheese. You, but if we compare something in the past, ICQ maybe had it, but we didn't have WhatsApp, we didn't have Skype or something like that. <laughs> okay, WhatsApp. So basically, ICQ cannot succeed today because the user experience of the Skype was very, very bad. And for example, if you are if you are not giving like I don't know free music or free pornography or whatever, you don't have a big piece of cheese. So you need to invest in user experience. You need to build that. And from the same blog, actually, maybe from his book, book he's made from the blog. This is amazing quote, and it should be first step in building any application. Like. I don't care about your architect as a user, I don't care about your code language, I don't care about your architecture, I don't care about anything. I care about things that I see and that I'm using. And period. I don't care about anything else. And I know that user experience is not easy thing, it's not hard, but it should be our focus for for end users. When I'm talking about user experience, you will see later, it's not just nice looking UI, it's performance also. So you as developers you have Role in building that, as same as user experience engineers. So okay, uh, so by now you probably all heard about progressive web apps. Is there someone who doesn't know what is progressive web app? Someone who didn't build something with progressive web app? It's okay, just raise your hand. Yeah, okay, small number of you. So basically, progressive web apps give us like this is this is some graph of capability and the reach. This is web, this is native application. We all agree that native applications are more capable in way of doing things like camera, like location, whatever. But web has huge reach. So basically, if you are starting your new startup project, you don't want to build mobile application. You want to focus here because your users are here. You have huge reach. I think 80% is the reach of web comparing to 30% reach of mobile phones. That's a huge difference. But with progressive web apps, we are getting we are getting here. We are getting we are we are keeping the reach, but we are also getting uh, getting com compatibility of native mobile applications, and that's amazing thing. If you think in that way, that's really really amazing. So progressive web apps uh, allow us to use modern web capabilities to deliver an app-like user experience. I will just pull a few things here. Because we are using same web technologies that we have like for 20 years now. Okay, they improved a lot, that's true. But we now can build truly app-like user experience for our users. And that's an amazing thing. So that's the basic idea of progressive web apps. Use the same technology as a web and then build app-like user experience. So basically, progressive web apps need to be progressive. Of course, that's what's they, what they name said. So it should work for every user, regardless of the browser or device. And actually they work on a desktop, they work on a mobile, in the same way, and they should work in that way. They should be responsive, they need to fit in any screen that we have. They should be connectivity independent, so it's not excuse I have bad 2G connection or I don't have internet. Users expect to have some data shown in your application regarding your connectivity to the internet. So if you turn off your your connectivity, your wireless or 3G, whatever you have here. And if you go to Twitter application, you will still get some data. It will serve from the cache, but you will not be able to upload it. It's same works in a, in a web app. It should be app-like, so browser should be able to start it from the, his home screen and sh uh, should not have like browser uh, address bar. So basically, it should feel like same as application. It should be a fresh data, all this should be up to date. And that's basically five uh, most important things. And we have some more, they need to be served from HTTPS. So security is very important, service workers won't work if you are not serving them from HTTPS. It should be easy to find them, so basically that is web app, so we should be able to search them through the Google. We don't need to go to app or Google Play or App Store to download it. We should be able to send push notifications, we should be able to install them, and we should be able to share the links to our friends from, from 
aggressive about. Okay, so how, how it works? What's 